Hey everybody, what's going on? Thanks for tuning in to another video of One Tool A Week. Guys, if you're new to the channel, we take a look at tools every week. So if you love tools, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. What is it that we're going to be taking a look at this week? Well, I've already had one year with my Real Flex work boots which are these babies right here and I just did a review on them for one year and of course guys if you're wondering if I would purchase them I would definitely purchase them again it's just time to try some new boots and see how I like them so of course guys these are going to be the Red Wings Real Flex so let's go ahead and slide these over and these are going to be the new babies that I went ahead and picked up now these are going to be another set of Red Wings that I went ahead and picked up but this is a major change for me because I am so used to having a uh, cowboy boot style or slide on boots so with that being said guys this week we're going to go ahead and take a look at these babies which i went ahead and picked up which are these right here these are going to be the red wing traction thread li light so these are going to be it let me go ahead and pull these out right now slide these over here and move this box right over there so these are going to be it guys i did go ahead and get shoelace boots which i've never had in my i've shoot i would say probably 11 12 year career in the trades so i went ahead and picked these up just because i wanted to try them out and try something different since i've never had them so if you guys are into the shoelaces as far as work boots let me know in the comments below which ones you recommend also on top of that i know i've heard of thor goods and also uh the mock toe uh red wings also but again there's so many varieties out there let me know in the comments below what works better now these did set me back 249 dollars and 99 cents which is a good amount guys but keep in mind you are going to be on your feet all the time so if you're in the trades and you're looking for a boot i definitely recommend spending premium dollar for your work boots just because you're going to be using them every day and of course they are going to be your safety now another reason why i did not get the classic is because they didn't make them in safety toe these are safety toe now they are a non-metallic safety toe so for all you electricians these are non-metallic so i want to say it's a composite uh safety and it is going to be meet the ANSI certification now of course you're going to have the red wing logo and if you can see right here they are going to be waterproof which is a definitely must and if you ask me the waterproofness is just going to be up to this line which is pretty much just up to here which should be plenty guys i'm probably not going to be diving into trenches or anything like that with these boots i'll probably end up swapping over to some mock boots now you are going to get some vibrant uh, soles down here which are very comfortable you're gonna have a nice little grip and in between here you see a transition which is kind of like a foam and it feels super comfortable you are gonna have some leather and of course your leather up here and the insides are just gonna be comfortable now I did try them on at the Red Wing store and I did have some um, some of this metal pieces rubbing up against me which I did not like but hopefully once the leather breaks in i will try them out now they are they are not made in the usa they are made in vietnam so that's one thing so for all you american that only buy american these aren't going to be made in the usa so just keep that in mind i uh, again it has a safety toe non-metallic waterproof and they're going to be electrical proof also they are going to be the six inches height on there just because i didn't want anything too long or too high going up so we'll go ahead and see how these go feel on the trade and also how they're gonna last so i'll probably end up doing another video within six months or a year let me know in the comments which i recommend or how long so any questions please let me know in the comments below and as always guys thank you all for the support and thanks for watching one tool a week guys